inside. What goes in must come out. Oh, hello. God understands inside out more than anyone. Today, God wants his welcome to overflow into our hearts. God's welcome is his open heart towards those who are different to him. God invites everyone. So can we. God wants us to know his welcome for ourselves. And as a result, his welcome will then overflow to the people we know. Today, welcome also has something to do with keys. The best way for overflow to happen is to ask the Holy Spirit to show us God's welcome. Can we make this last overflow prayer the biggest of all ten weeks? Oh, goggles on! Dear God, please come and show us your welcome today deep in our hearts. Overflow to us and then to our family, our friends and everyone we meet. Amen! Welcome to Care of Kids. My name is Josh and I'm really excited to be talking to you today. As Professor D explained today, we are going to be looking at how God invites everyone and so can we. God wants us to know his welcome for ourselves and as a result, his welcome will then overflow to the people that we know. All the stories from Overflow have shown Jesus' welcome in action. His open heart towards people who are different to him, children, women, traitors, the sick and the poor. Can you remember the nine stories that we have explored? Why don't you pause the video now and write down how many you can remember? Right, let's see how many you got right. So we've got the tax collector, Levi and Favour. Little children and friendship. Bleeding women and healing. The lost son and mercy. Dead Lazarus and Mary and compassion. 5,000 people and small boy and generosity. Blind Bartimaeus and kindness. Man with paralysed hand and anger. Poor people in the temple and justice. In these stories, Jesus reveals God's welcome, his open heart towards people who are different to him. God invites everyone, and so can we. So what is God's welcome? Well, why do we have locks and keys on the doors to our homes, schools and churches? It's to keep people out. We give someone a key when we know them or trust them. Sometimes we can imagine that God is sitting behind a big locked door only letting the good, clever or beautiful people near him. But that's not the case. God is quick to welcome and it's not dependent on who we are or how well we behave. He welcomes everyone at any time and God invites everyone. So how does God's welcome overflow to us at the cross? Well, the cross is the reason that God can welcome us. We have all sinned and that breaks our relationship with God. It keeps us apart. Jesus dying on the cross was God's big plan, his key, to welcome us back. When Jesus died, he took our sin and made a way for God to welcome everyone into a friendship with him. Through the cross, everyone is invited to know God. We can all come regardless of who we are, how well we behave, or how well we know him. God invites everyone. He gives us all a key. So we have spent nine sessions unpacking nine topics that are in God's heart. He wants to transform our hearts on the inside, but God will not come where he is not welcome. He waits for us to invite him and give him the key to our hearts. If you want to know more of God's favour, friendship, healing, mercy, compassion, his generosity, his kindness, anger, justice and welcome overflowing into your heart, you can invite him in today. Everyone who wants this, stand up and pray with me. Dear God, I want your heart to overflow deep into my heart today. Show me even more of your favour, friendship and healing. Amen. Let's give some space now to welcome him in.
my faith will stand and I will call upon your name I keep my eyes above the waves when oceans rise my soul Amen. Well, how can you be more welcoming this week? Perhaps you could ask someone different to play with you at school. Thank you so much for letting me hang out with you today. I'm praying that you have a great week. <laughs>